Drive and Interstate 10. When the Sons or Mr. Block applied for a building permit for the City of Orange, it was listed as a Veterans Memorial. However, when I saw the flyer that's been widely distributed uh, for fundraising efforts, it's a Confederate flag memorial, which is a vastly different issue in my mind than a Veterans Memorial. The Confederate flag is very corrosive, a very corrosive symbol to many people, and it is protected by the First Amendment. I acknowledge that, but as a public body and as a citizens of Orange, um, we don't need to idly or quietly stand by. Orange County doesn't need this kind of stigma. Uh, I grew up in Port Arthur. It took me 52 years to decide to set foot in Vider because growing up in Port Arthur, we understood Vider to be a place of exclusion to blacks, to Catholics, and we were a Catholic family, and to Jews. And whether it's true or not, it was our perception, and that's been, I believe, a, a difficulty for the city and the county to get over. And we don't need another stigma that is going to deter, deter people who are traveling <coughs> through this region not to stop in the county. So what I would like to ask you to do is to adopt a resolution <coughs> denouncing this particular location and the symbolism and urging the sons to look at another location, not on Martin Luther King Drive, and also urging them to focus on, instead of the symbols, the veterans themselves. And uh, I'll be glad, I'll draft a resolution. In fact, I've submitted one to the City of Orange, which I understand is going to be considered. The second issue I want to address very briefly, and I guess now we have a, a year to think about it, is the issue of proclaiming April as Confederate Heritage and History Month. I'm a millennial descendant of a Confederate soldier and I see no need for any special acknowledgement of Confederate history. We've got a superb regional site, the Dick Dowling State Park, that's probably one of the best educational pieces about history of the Civil War. It recognizes veterans of both sides. It informs you about military strategy and tactics at the very vantage points that the sides fought. So we already have educational tools within the region. We don't need an April Confederate Veterans Month. Um, what I would ask you that you do next year before this issue comes up again is I'm going to leave CDs, I ran out of discs, so I'll leave, I'll drop one off of Judge Thibodeau's <coughs> office. That is an um, interview with Mr. Block that was held on October 11th, 2011. And I'm going to ask over the next year that you listen to it. And I've excerpted out on the, some quotes on the cover of the CD because I think it's very important to be clear about what part of the history of the Civil War we don't understand, which necessitates a special telling of the history from Confederates and, for, and sons of Confederate veterans. Um, let me just stop, I'll, I'll end with two points. One is Mr. Block was quoted saying that the true history of the Civil War was not about slavery. It wasn't the reason for the war. And when he was specifically asked about the Reconstruction Era groups, the paramilitary groups that were formed, the KKK, the White League, and the Red Shirts, Mr. Block said they weren't there to suppress blacks. Then later indicated that if those things happened and I didn't study them, then it wasn't about Confederate soldiers, even though they may have been parts of those groups, that the Confederate soldiers' history stopped in 1865. He went on to say that these groups, the KKK, White League, and Red Shirts, were to stop the atrocities of the North, taking the land of the South. Slaves were valuable property that had already been taken from them, and these groups were nothing more than Robin Hood groups. Next year when this proclamation comes before you, I'm going to ask for a little bit more consideration and, and encourage people to, to show and to talk about whether this is the type of history that we're proclaiming in April, Confederate History Month. And I want no part of it. And the Confederacy is a part of my lineal heritage, and this is garbage. Thank you, ma'am. Anyone, anyone else like to address the book? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, Hugo, you can count as mean. I have 